Turkey has been hit by a plague of sea snot that is covering much of its Sea of Marmara with a thick layer of mucus-like sludge. A sludge that looks like it's fresh out of the nose of some virus-ridden giant. Or make that the noses of a billion virus-ridden giants, as each of the slime spots cover many miles of the sea. And the gunk isn't just gross, it's also smothering animals underwater. Here are the details. The BBC reports that Turkey's President Erdogan has promised to save the country's shores from sea snot that has been building up in its waters. A thick, slimy layer of the mucus-like matter is spreading over the Sea of Marmara near Istanbul, damaging marine life and the fishing industry. This sea snot, or marine mucilage, is a naturally occurring green or white sludge that forms when algae is overloaded with nutrients as a result of hot weather and water pollution. Turkey's recent outbreak over large areas of the Sea of Marmara is believed to be the biggest in history and is causing havoc for local communities. Some fishermen are being prevented from working as it clogs up their motors and nets. President Erdogan blamed untreated sewage being dumped into the sea as well as rising temperatures and urged officials to investigate. His government has dispatched a 300-strong team to inspect potential sources of pollution. Divers have reported that large numbers of fish and other species are dying from suffocation. Researchers from the Turkish Marine Research Foundation warned such problems would continue unless there is fresh investment to treat and purify wastewater being pumped out of Istanbul. The foundation called it a real catastrophe and warned that, due to the overgrowth of the mucilage, several species are under threat, including oysters, mussels, and sea stars. Plastic pollution is a global problem that is causing an environmental disaster in the world's oceans, and scientists have now found that the Mediterranean Sea is also filling up with plastic at a very high rate. Scientists have previously documented how the Pacific and other oceans are filling up with plastic trash that cover the sea floor or drift on the surface to form floating trash dumps the size of countries. One of these floating trash dumps is called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and it's three times the size of France. According to Reuters, scientists are now studying where all this ocean-destroying trash comes from and have found that most of it comes from rivers in Indonesia, China, the Philippines, Vietnam, and Thailand. A recent study published by the International Union for Conservation of Nature has now also raised the alarm in the Mediterranean Sea. The study found that around 230,000 tons of plastic trash is dumped in the sea per year, and this number is expected to double by 2040 if ambitious steps are not taken soon. The study found that the nations most guilty of dumping plastic in the Mediterranean are Italy, Turkey, and Egypt. However, on a per capita basis, it is the individuals of Montenegro, Albania, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and North Macedonia who throw the most trash in nature. The solution for this problem is a very elusive goal, and different people have different ideas of how to solve this problem. In the end, it seems obvious that nations and individuals need to educate themselves to the point where they can understand how important it is to recycle plastic, and not to simply dump it in nature. The ocean around the South Atlantic island of Tristan da Cunha is said to become a fishing war zone as it has been declared a marine wildlife sanctuary by the island's government. The move is designed to protect the area's wildlife and fish populations, which means it would be one of the last parts of the world's oceans that would contain large fish stocks. This would make it an irresistible target for the world's long-range fishing boats, which have overfished most of the world's oceans, leading to diminished fish populations globally. China's large fleet of long-range fishing boats are particularly particularly infamous for their long history of poaching fish from nations as far away from China as South Africa and Argentina. According to The Guardian, the protected area is huge, three times the size of the UK, and the UK government would be responsible for enforcing the new no-fishing law. In a statement, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson called on other nations to join Britain in its ambition to protect 30% of the world's oceans. He said, We are in danger of killing our seas. We are warming them up, making them more acidic, and every day we fill them with turtle-choking, dolphin-poisoning plastic that is turning our ocean into a vast floating rubbish dump. China discovered 200.7 million cubic meters of waste into its coastal waters in 2018. In a briefing on October 29th, China's environmental ministry said that this is a 27% increase from 2017 and the highest level in at least a decade. The bulk of the waste was dumped into the delta regions of the Yangtze and Pearl Rivers. Citing environmental groups, Reuters reports that China is discarding large amounts of trash into its ocean waters in an attempt to clean up its rivers. 
According to the ministry, the country found an average of 24 kilograms of floating waste for every 1,000 square meters of surface water. Almost 90 percent of the waste was plastic. Plastic waste was also found below surface water and on the seabed. China said it plans to designate 30 percent of its coastal waters to be completely off-limits for development as part of the country's ecological red line scheme. According to Reuters, China is also moving its steel and petrochemical industries to its coastline in order to protect its rivers at the same time. Guo Chuanling from China's Environmental Ministry explained in the briefing that they were working to improve on the issue of wastewater from rivers entering into oceans. Guo added that China cannot be blamed for the global ocean plastic pollution crisis, even though the nation is the biggest manufacturer and exporter of plastic products around the world. The Ocean Cleanup, the Dutch nonprofit organization developing technologies to rid the world's oceans of plastic, is ramping up production of its Interceptor, an autonomous system that removes plastic waste from rivers, before it is able to reach the ocean. The Ocean Cleanup currently has three interceptors operating in Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Dominican Republic, with a fourth due to launch in Vietnam early next year. On Thursday, December 10th, the organization announced a partnership with Cone Cranes, a Finnish company that produces lifting equipment. Cone Cranes will handle manufacturing, installation, and maintenance of the interceptor with local partners. The company is already building two interceptors at its MHE DMAG facility in Klang, Malaysia. The interceptor is powered by solar energy and uses lithium-ion batteries, which theoretically enables it to operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The vessel is anchored to the riverbed and uses a floating barrier that guides plastic waste from the river into the system's conveyor belt. Once plastic waste is on board, it is automatically put into one of six dumpsters on a barge inside the system. The system alerts local operators once all six dumpsters on board are full. Local operators then send over a vessel to collect the plastic waste. The barge is taken back to shore with the plastic waste and emptied for recycling. The barge is then reattached to the interceptor to collect more plastic debris. Ocean Cleanup states on its website that the interceptor is capable of extracting 50,000 kilograms of trash a day. The organization claims that under optimal conditions, that number could increase to 100,000 kilograms of waste per day. Ocean Cleanup has ambitious plans of tackling 1,000 of the world's most polluting rivers by 2025. The organization says it has established that these waterways, which comprise 1% of the world's rivers, are responsible for 80% of plastic waste present in oceans. In October, the organization announced that it would sell sunglasses made from plastic it has recycled from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch to help fund its operators. America's contribution to the plastic trash crisis in the world's oceans is up to five times worse than previously thought. The study was a sequel to 2015 research, which had given a rough estimate of the waste contribution by the U.S. The new study has now revealed that Americans contributed between 1.1 and 2.2 million metric tons of plastic to the oceans in 2016. This is five times more than the lowest estimates of 2015. The study has revealed that Americans are using more plastic than ever before, and the data included American waste exports that are not accounted for in their previous studies. About 88% of the country's waste exports goes to countries with poor recycling infrastructure. Recent developments have shown that much of the plastic waste that is exported does not go through recycling systems and ends up in the oceans. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.